as for modern Iraqi identity as presented in art, I'm going to quote Hashim al-Tawil. Hashim al-Tawil is an Iraqi artist who lives in America. He used to be uh, one of the lecturer at the uh, Baghdad uh, Academy of Arts. Uh, he is a professor now in one of the colleges in, in America. Uh, he's telling us that among, I'm quoting him, among the diverse trends, techniques, and styles, Iraqi artists utilize certain characteristics of modern Iraqi identity emerge. This was an identity rooted in the civilization of ancient Iraqs. Uh, well, most of the our old generation of Iraqi artists, who I'm talking about in the 40s, 50s, and up to the 60s, they combined their study of Iraqi, of studying at the Academy of Fine Arts with archaeology together. So Jawas Salim, uh, our most prominent artist, he was working also at, in archaeological sites. Uh, most of them, they combined both. If not, they went to the Iraqi museum to gain experience. So ancient history is part of the art, is almost is uh, weaving uh, between uh, the two, art and archaeology. Those who first, we're talking about the civilization of ancient Iraqis, those who first invented the rules of pictorial analytics, and establish the language of visual expression. This identity was enriched by the diverse ethnic, racial, and religious composition that has always strengthened the Iraqi experience. Artists of Arab, Kurd, Turkmen background, Muslim of all sects, uh, Christian, Jewish, Mandarin, and Yazidi contributed to the making of this picture, which has been a source of inspiration to so many young artists throughout the Arab world. So it's unlike what we are told nowadays, that Iraqis are no more, but we are Sunni, Shiites, uh, Turks, Arabs, whatever the, uh, the label we've been labeled <coughs> since the occupation. Uh, actually, the identity of Iraqi artist is the combination of all. We never used to differentiate between. So the, the result, the artwork, is a combination of all. This rich experience was also fed by diverse political views among the artists themselves. Communists, Arab nationalists, Baptists, Islamists, and political practitioners as well the predominant characteristic of this Iraqi cultural identity, which is an extension of the wider Arab cultural identity, was derived from distinct Arabic, Islamic, visual elements. So we have it, the ancient history, which is very important and prominent part of our identity, move on to the Arabic identity, which really reveal itself in the poetry, Arabic poetry, very important uh, component of Iraqi art. Then move on to the Islamic civilization, where you see the calligraphy. This is another part of it. Plus, we are in the area, it's the links with the area. We are part of the Arab Islamic world. This is the overall picture, which really is reflects in the art work of any Iraqi artist with various degrees, of course. I mean, it varies from one to another. Artists have explored calligraphy and geometric forms within an Arab Islamic cultural context in the process of creating a new artistic vocabulary of modern, for modern art. Among the most popular forms of calligraphy were quotations uh, from Quranic verses, the traditions of the prophet and Arabic proverbs, as well as representations of God's attributes. It is, so, the religious side of it, the Islamic, but also in Iraq, and it was a woman in the 50s that for the first time, uh, her name is the artist, is Madiha Omar, 
she used the contemporary freestyle of calligraphy because the calligraphy follows very strict rules uh, in writing and also even when applied within the art is very strict. But Madiha Omar in the 50s managed to use this freestyle uh, in contrast to formal styles of Islamic calligraphy. So artists render letters in a free and abstracted form which being continuous till today. So this is essential part of it. Uh, almost, I mean, Madiha Omar, uh, as a woman artist, reminds us as well as of the Nazi Malaika, the first, uh, the poet, uh, who is the leading figure in the Arab uh, scenery of poetry. She is the uh, avant-garde, and uh, she was the leader of the free uh, style poetry in the Arabic world. Poetry has had a long and productive relationship with the arts of the 20th century. Iraqi artists inspired by poetry have produced diverse works, from fiber art to engraving, devoted to classical and popular Arabic poetry. Very good <coughs> example of it, we have Shakir Hassan and Said, uh, as well as we have a recent work, the recent works of, by Rafa and Nasri, he is one of our most prominent artists, <coughs> and he produced, I've seen his, uh, the, the, a series of works about Al Mutanabi Street, the streets of the uh, book <coughs> in all Baghdad, which been burned down totally and completely. So he is really, he worked on a series of paintings, uh, <coughs> in order, it's called it Homage to Al Mutanabi. Uh, and also he used the poetry uh, of al mutanabi himself in a series of works. So he's combining both. Thamir uh, al-Khafaji is another artist who is actually is now in London and he contributed to the exhibition. Uh, he used different things. He did not use poetry. He did not also use calligraphy in the classical sense of it, but he used songs. And he has really manipulated the Arabic letterings uh, into producing some kind of a newly. I, I, I think I, I think this is something totally new. The way he used the songs and he's moving from one song to another to give you in the end uh, a figure, uh, the illustration or a picture, an image of Baghdad. All the songs he liked while he was moving from one street to another in Baghdad, from one area to another, he put it in that s a small painting uh, that you can, if you can read Arabic, you can see and you can even start singing the songs with them. Beautiful colors, absolutely. 